now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good evening, Maryland. We're quiet out there right now. We were pretty chilly and breezy out there today. We're going to be starting off on a very cold note in the morning. We have freeze warnings and also freeze watches that go into effect for our northwestern suburbs. We have below normal temperatures and breezy winds out of the north and west for your Thursday. But as we head into Friday, we will be slightly milder. Our temperatures are expected to rise a little bit and then we will be dealing with tons of sunshine over the next few days. Right now, satellite radar is just depicting clear skies aloft over the mid-Atlantic region down towards the Carolina coast. And you can see that area of high pressure kind of located right to the south of Nashville, Tennessee. And that's going to continue to drift closer and closer to the mid-Atlantic region as we progress throughout the morning and also into the afternoon. Look at this. This is right around 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Nothing but sunshine. And yes, we're still going to keep that northwesterly wind flow on tap. And then we could start to deal with some of those clouds drifting back in from southwest to northeast as we head into your Friday evening, especially as we head into the upcoming weekend. So I've been talking about this all evening long. We have freeze warnings and freeze watches. Areas highlighted in blue are under those watches beginning at 1 o'clock in the morning. So after midnight tonight through 9 o'clock in the morning, as a lot of these areas north and west of I-95 are going to be dropping off uh, at or slightly below freezing. So this could really be harmful to any sensitive plants that you have out on your back deck or even some plants that you already planted, like Jamie Costello. You probably want to make sure you cover them up to protect them. Uh, but as we we head overnight again. Here's a look at our temperatures. We are going to be starting off again. Most of us at or below freezing closer to the Mason Dixon line, mid 30s right around the city, and it might be feeling a tad bit milder south and east of I 95. But our winds are going to stay out of the north and west, and they will stay elevated throughout the overnight hours and also into early tomorrow morning around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So the combination of clear skies aloft and winds out of the north and west with temperatures in the low to mid 30s, that's going to make it feel like the mid and upper 20s out there north and west of the city. It is going to be a very frosty, a very cold start to the day. So here is your morning hot coffee cast. You will need the hot cup of coffee for tomorrow. Forget the iced coffee. We're going to be dealing with temperatures again, uh, kind of staying pretty steadily in the mid 30s as we head around the 6, 7, 8 o'clock hour. We will be uh, seeing bright skies in the forecast. So tomorrow will be bright and breezy. Our temperatures are expected to make it back up into the upper 50s and the lower 60s, but winds will be gusty throughout the afternoon, upwards of 30 miles per hour, and temperatures will warm up into the lower 70s by Sunday, flirting with 80 degrees into early next week with the chance for showers and storms. Jamie.